paraphrase on that, essentially Nandini is a student of the TVS course, The Four Pillars of Singing, and in the course, among lots of other lovely things, there's a technique that we talk about, which is dampening the larynx. So here's the backstory. Those of you who don't know what this is, I've got to explain what dampening the larynx is real quick. Dampening the larynx just simply means subtly putting the larynx into, and this is important, a very subtle, soft, lowered, or settled position, okay? Not dumping the larynx, not too much. Oftentimes, students go far, far too far, and they dump the larynx instead of dampening the larynx, and we want to dampen the larynx, okay? But basically, it's when we lower the larynx just a little tiny bit, and when you lower the larynx a little tiny bit, a couple things happen. Now, I'm oversimplifying for you Matt Edwards type people out there, we can go into more detail on another conversation, but I'm just going to oversimplify here for our, our students. When you tap in the larynx, you increase the resonant space in the upper vocal tract, okay? You increase the resonant space. And when you increase the resonant space, um, you get an amplification of lower, more warm overtones, okay? So in, uh, another metaphor would be if you, if you increase the size of a violin, Resonant space, what do you get? You get a viola. All right. <laughs> All right. So that's a metaphor. So dabbing in the larynx adds, amplifies warmer, darker overtones. I'll give you an example. This is a track and release onset into a middle C without dampening my larynx. Me. All right, that's, that's not wrong, it's perfectly fine. It's just an A vowel without dampening. Now, this is the same track and release onset with dampening the larynx or a subtle lowering of the larynx. Me. testing a b testing you got your you got your, your sort of non-dampened position then you got your lowered position then your non-dampened position then you got your lowered position listen to the difference in the sound color to your sound color. <laughs> and, I, and I mean that in a, in, a, in a good way. But did you hear the warmth? Did you hear the warmth? All right, that's important, okay? It can help add some beef and some, some warm, dark chocolate to your sound color. Now there's another thing that larynx dampening does for you, okay? It doesn't only warm the sound color, that's one thing, but it also is super important for creating stability. Dampening the larynx creates stability, all right? When you, when you sort of make that little contraction, make that little A, you get that little position down, what that does is, well, honestly, I don't know everything it does. That's why I gotta talk to Matt. <laughs> but, 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 I, but I know a little bit about what it does and what I really know what it does and what it does to the outcome. It allows you to bridge the vocal break, okay, and get into the head voice with far, far more stability. A lot of the choking and, and, and the squeezing and the voice breaking goes away. Uh, you know, there's no, it's not 100% guarantee, but you really help your situation when you go through the passaggio with a subtly lowered larynx, okay? So that's larynx dampening, it's super important. And there's a third point that I like to make with this. Voice teachers, I hope you're listening. Three, larynx dampening is super important for everybody, okay? We all need to know how to do it, you wanna do it most of the time, but also 
I think that it's safe to say that larynx dampening is just ever so slightly, ever so slightly a little bit more beneficial for women, for ladies, okay? Again, don't misunderstand me. Everybody benefits from death and from larynx dampening or sort of lowering. However, since women, their vocal tract is about half the size of the male vocal tract, um, when they sing high notes without larynx dampening, a woman has a much greater risk of sounding shrill, okay, or sounding quacky, all right, um, producing a, a, a sound color that you can't use for anything. Whereas a man, if he sings super high notes and does not dampen the larynx, he can kind of, a man can kind of get away with it if he's sort of like a rock heavy metal singer, all right, and he's like in a, in a Scorpions cover band. You can kind of get away with it, all right? I'm not recommending it. It's not what I'm encouraging, but you can kind of get away with it as a man if you're singing in the right styles and typically rock or metal. It's okay. You don't need to warm it up quite so much all the time, all right? But women... I don't know. I think that the higher you go, the more you're going to quack and the more you're going to shrill and the more you're going to squeeze. All right. Well, we all do that. But when women do it, it can kind of sound a bit. Ugh. All right. Sorry to break the bad news to you, but there's good news. Ladies, in my program, go to the to the larynx anchoring, larynx anchoring lesson. All right. And learn more about larynx dampening and then practice it, okay? And by the way, since it's super important, it's all over the program. I talk about it all the time, all right? Even on some of the demonstrations when I'm doing the workouts, I'll turn to the camera and go, uh, 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 singing the workout, and just to let you guys know that I'm dampening the larynx, listen, okay? All right, so that's a little bit of the larynx dampening story. Now, Nandini wants to know, um, how do you train it? Um, well, there's, there's, there's one thing that I would recommend is that you engage tongue leveraging techniques. That's another uh, um, um, lesson in the course where we talk about different positions for the tongue. Tongue, tongue leveraging technique number one is take the tip of the tongue, push it against the back and bottom teeth, all right? And as you bridge through the passaggio and you're, and you're and you're shoving against the back of the bottom teeth lightly, not too hard, just sort of subtle. Okay, what that does is it helps anchor the larynx down. Wait a minute, my elbows, my larynx, tongue, tip of the tongue, teeth, larynx. Okay, it gets the larynx to sit down a little bit. Try that, practice that a little bit. All right, you can also look at the SpectroGap software, you can look at the Spectrograph, the harmonic signatures or the sound signatures um, on software when you're larynx dampening and, and kind of do what I was doing, practice the larynx dampening and look at Spectrograph software and it will give you um, a pattern, a, a, a signature, a, um, an overtone signature for dampening that you begin to familiarize her with. And it, it's all in the book, you guys. I'm not going to go through the entire lesson right here. We have other questions and, you know, you guys have your students. So this is the part of the story where the teacher says, go back to the course, go to the book, find the answer and practice. It's all in there. All right. But that's the backstory on Larry Stampany.